Hi, this is Rui Nogueira, and the person you see here is uh, Cyrus Shakeri from the Technology Strategy Group at SAP. Hi, Cyrus. How Hi. are you doing? Okay. So, um, Cyrus, tell, tell us um, what you are working on so that people know what you are doing. Uh, we are working on this uh, t set of technologies called semantic technologies. Uh, I'm part of the Technology Strategy Group uh, at SAP and uh, semantic technologies are considered new technologies that are emerging and we are looking into what uh, these technologies can do for SAP and what new type of applications they could enable um, so that we can deliver those to customers. So semantics, yeah. this sounds somehow very, very um, abstract. abstract and not really tangible. Um, can you tell us um, what semantics means in uh, the SAP world. So what, what kind of um, uh, effect does it have on the product portfolio? Maybe first what semantics are mm -hmm. and um, what kind of technologies do you have there? Mm -hmm. Maybe just a, qu uh, a quick wrap up so that people sure. know what you, what you are doing. Okay, so s semantics, uh, it's, it's a big subject, but let's focus on semantic technologies and in, as it relates to uh, enterprise applications. Uh, from that perspective, semantic technologies are the type of technologies that make information and meaning of information machine processable uh, so that the machine doesn't only deal with digitized information as bits and bytes, but at, to some extent, not to the level that humans understand the meaning of information, tries to, to understand uh, what that information is about and provide a better functionality for, for the user uh, and, and support the, the way that the user works. Um, and that will result in uh, applications that SAP can build that are more responsive, uh, they are more context aware, and uh, they have capabilities that uh, help the, the, the person, the human, to do uh, his or her job faster with better quality. Do, do you have any, any examples what that, what that specifically means? I mean, I, I heard from um, something called natural language understanding. Is it also part of, um, of the semantics technologies that SAP is working on? Uh, yes, definitely. So natural language processing is a good example of a semantic technology and we have actually uh, products uh, more, uh, the, the most known one is from Cybex actually called Answers Anywhere. And that's a natural language uh, processing technology that uh, takes uh, input as, uh, as a natural language question or a statement and uh, makes it into a machine understandable uh, um, structure and either as a command or a question and responds back in natural language uh, way instead of uh, using you know, the, the traditional GUI uh, pictures. Um, so, so natural language processing is, is a good example, it's one piece of the whole puzzle of semantic technology. Are there, are there other examples that, that you can think of? That, that yes, so, mm -hmm. so instead of me explaining example by example, let me mention that we've written an article uh, on SBN, uh, which puts, uh, puts together a map of the landscape of semantic techno technologies and natural language processing is one of those, uh, one of those technologies. But other technologies are rule engines, for example, um, uh, just picking things from that map. And uh, the, the other ex example is, for example, this data stores that stores the semantic content and, and other examples. So I can go into the, you know, give you, give you an overview of the, the scope of these technologies. Yeah, so, uh, and maybe just, uh, just c uh, quickly, so um, which, which um, products um, or in, in, in which products of SAP do we actually use semantic technologies? Is it um, something that people can already um, try out or, or see how that influences the way that, um, that um, applications looks like and how they work? Uh, yes, so uh, we have already products that are built on uh, top of rule engines, for example, and rule engines and, and rule-based systems are part of the semantic Technologies and the way that you extract business logic into rules, for example, and a 
execution of those rules uh, direct users to check different different routes in their processes, or the rules are helping users to find uh, you know relevant information. Those are examples that we already have at SAP. Uh, for example, in, in business uh, process management uh, domain, and then uh, um, more specific products that are coming and they use more of semantic technologies. There is one product which is called FindGrade and that's very close to go to a general, general availability. There are a few products that are in the beta um, um, stage um, and being piloted by some customers in extracting meaning out of, for example, customers reviewing, let's say, you know, digital cameras and understanding um, what people are thinking about those products. Okay, perfect. I think this was just a, a quick wrap up for people to um, to know you and what you are working on. Mm -hmm. um, I, I hope we will see more of you on on SDN about semantics and about uh, other colleagues of you. So you're not working alone just on this topic, right? And uh, no, we, we are actually a, a team of people who are expert in semantics, uh, natural language processing. Uh, Matthias Kaiser, who's been working on this topic for for many years at SAP. Um, and hopefully he will be talking about natural language processing in more details. Um, other people who have worked on um, integration um, uh, problems using semantics, um, people who worked on model-driven approaches and extend, extending it to be enabled with semantic technologies. So those colleagues hopefully will um, uh, come in and either blog about it or uh, put a video. On yeah, you can bet they will because I will bother them so long like you like I did with you <laughs> to put them here on uh, on video um, that they will actually do it I hope okay and you're doing a f a, a, an excellent job in pursuing people to to talk about their um, domains and explain it to people yeah thank you but my arm is getting uh, very heavy now because I'm holding the camera all the time <laughs> so I think we need to close serious thank you very much and uh, see you soon yeah thank you for the opportunity Thanks. bye